So hello everyone <laughs> and welcome. My name is uh, Luciana Ferrero and for those who don't know me, I am marketing manager for Italy, Israel and Malta. I wanted to thank you for attending today's webinar, EBSCO Content and Services for International Schools Libraries. Um, we have a really engaging session planned for you today. Before we begin, I have a few housekeeping items to review with you to ensure a smooth session. The session is now being recorded and all attendees' lines are now muted to avoid any sound feedback or interruptions. Please use the chat box to communicate with me and the panelists. If you have questions for the presenters, please feel free to enter them into the chat box at any time and we will answer them. If you would like to talk instead of writing in the chat, you can raise your hand and I will give you the permission to talk. Now, without further ado, I would like to introduce today's panelists. We have with us Megan Hallen, uh, who is EBSCO Senior Product Manager, Dana Bevu, EBSCO Senior Sales Trainer, and Silvia Canavesio, who is uh, EBSCO Regional Sales Manager for Northern Italy and Italian-speaking Switzerland. During this webinar, we will present EBSCO online content suited to the international schools. So now I'm going to share my screen because I, Silvia, I still see your slide. That mm -hmm. is not yeah, so please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Luciana. You're welcome. Okay, okay, so good afternoon, and thank you for yeah, thank you for attending this online event. As Luciana said, it's dedicated to the international schools in Italy, Spain, Portugal, Malta, and Israel. Um, we have decided to to organize this webinar because after more than two years, it is clear to all of us that the COVID-19 pandemic altered some elements of our lives. And we faced a, a new reality uh, and libraries needed to foster a new vision whereby all services and information should be uh, ubiquitous and available with more flexibility. So now we can say that library collection development strategies have been changing to ensure that students are supported no matter where they are. We are aware of the fact that distance learning programs will continue to function after the pandemic is over. <laughs> so that's why during this meeting, uh, we will provide you with an update on the most helpful education solution to face uh, the current global changes. Um, looking at the agenda, Luciana, if you can, thank you. Uh, I'm going to start with a brief introduction, uh, talking about EBSCO activities and, uh, and services. Uh, then my colleague Dana Bove, uh, EBSCO Senior Sales Trainer, will present uh, some resources suited to the international schools, uh, in particular the online, uh, the complete online package. Uh, then the advanced placement source, which is a full text database, uh, especially appreciated by schools uh, with an IB program. Uh, then we will talk about Flipster, uh, the digital magazines provided by EBSCO, and then about ebooks. EBSCO offers much more, but during this one hour meeting, uh, we are going to focus only uh, on some selected products. And um, in conclusion, before the end of this webinar, my colleague uh, Megan Allen, who is the EBSCO Senior Product Manager, will present the new Explora user interface. Explora is a platform uh, uh, mostly used by um, public libraries and schools. 
it is created by EBSCO. And the interface has been recently redesigned. So now the look and feel is very modern and intuitive for students. So let's start with uh, some information about the company just to provide you with an overview of EBSCO structure and activities. Uh, EBSCO was uh, founded in uh, 19, uh, um, 1944 by Elton, Bryce and Stevens. EBSCO, the name EBSCO is uh, the acronym uh, of um, uh, Elton, Bryce and Stevens company. And um, uh, now we are, we are uh, almost 3,000 employees, uh, 1,000 of them outside the United States. EBSCO Industries uh, is one of the 200 largest private companies in the United States. It is a multinational company with offices all over the world. And uh, EBSCO has the highest uh, uh, rate assigned by Dan and Prestrid. Uh, the rate is 5A1, which means a, a stronger financial stability. EBSCO subscription services uh, is, uh, ha has been working and, and serving institutions, organizations uh, uh, worldwide for uh, more than 75 years. And we are proud to say that now we are working with uh, more than 100,000 institutions. When we say institutions, uh, uh, it means uh, not only colleges and universities, but also um, hospitals, private companies, government institutions, public libraries, and of course, uh, uh, school uh, libraries. Regarding EBSCO, EBSCO services, well, we can start saying that we are the world's leading aggregator of high quality journals. EBSCO is uh, offering more than 450 databases, aggregating uh, around 90,000 full text academic publications. So very high quality products. But EBSCO is also providing libraries with a subscription management service. It means that we are dealing with thousands of, uh, of publishers. And uh, um, now we are handling 4.5 million subscriptions on behalf of our customers. EBSCO provides not only journals, but also print and online ebooks. Uh, Today, more than 2 million ebooks uh, are available on EBSCO host platform. And today, during this meeting, we are going to talk about ebooks too. In addition to content, EBSCO offers also powerful and next generation tools to, to search, uh, discover, and access the entire library collection. We are talking about EBSCO Discovery Service, the full text finder as a link resolver, but also authentication services. Now, so let's, uh, uh, let's focus on today's uh, event, the resources dedicated to the international schools. Our goal is uh, uh, to provide school libraries with high quality uh, content, journals, books, magazines for both students and teachers. On on EBSCO website, in particular on the webpage ebsco.com slash schools, uh, you will find a complete overview of EBSCO products suited uh, to the schools. As I told you at the beginning, uh, uh, we, are not, we, we are now going to, to present some selected online resources, but we suggest you to visit our website to find a description of all the products your school could be interested in. Of course, you can ask us for a free trial to test some resources, or you can contact us and ask a dedicated presentation. Uh, we will be glad to, to talk with you, to discuss with you about a customized proposal. Before leaving the floor uh, to, to my colleague, Dana Bove, I, I would like to ask you if you have some questions about this first part, about this first introduction. Any questions? 
Okay, so I think that we can go on. Dana, I leave you the floor. Thank you, Sylvia. Uh, I am going to share my screen. So uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to just let me move this. Terrific. So um, hi, everybody. I am joining you from Ipswich, Massachusetts, uh, which is where EBSCO is headquartered. Um, we are about 35 miles north of Boston, if you're familiar with that part of the United States. Um, I have been with EBSCO for 17 years. Um, in the first 10 years, I worked with our university and college customers in the southwestern part of the United States. Um, for the past 10 years, I have been a trainer. Um, working with our sales teams literally all over the world. Um, and in fact, I've had the very good fortune of uh, working with Sylvia in our offices in Turin um, and also with our team in Madrid. And my specific focus as a trainer is on the school and uh, public libraries. So today it's my pleasure to review some of the resources that are particularly well suited to the international schools, um, which EBSCO offers. We're gonna begin by looking at the complete online package, which is a very good starting point for many schools um, because it is multidisciplinary and it combines multiple source types. Um, we will look at uh, briefly at some uh, subject specific reference centers, um, and I will highlight a specialty resource, as Sylvia mentioned, called the Advanced Placement Source. Then we'll turn uh, both to ebooks and digital magazines. Um, so that's a lot to cover um, in a short amount of time. So I'm going to need to move fairly quickly. Please do use the chat if you have questions. Um, uh, so that uh, we'll be able to get to all of those. So let's get started. For thousands of high schools all over the world, the complete online package is foundational. Um, it supports both students and educators with a vast collection, um, including magazines, newspapers, TV and radio news transcripts, biographies, primary source documents, reference books, and images and videos. It's a package of six databases that support students and teachers in research and classroom instruction. And as you can see from this slide, the complete online package delivers significant content from multiple source types, including magazines and periodicals, full text, nonfiction books, newspapers, primary source documents, biographies, TV and radio transcripts, and multimedia content. Um, increasingly, we are hearing that your teachers and students are looking for more video content. So can I just do a little test here and ask you if you can raise your hand if you are also being asked for video content? And maybe, um, Luciana, you can let me just give me a sense of what you're seeing there. If you're being asked for additional multimedia content. Yeah, there are two hands raised. Okay. Yeah, a couple. So 
we are we are definitely hearing more of that, and uh, it's very exciting to be able to continuously increase that type of content in all of our products. So looking at magazines specifically, subject areas that are covered uh, in the complete online package include art, computer science, current events, health, history, social science, sports, etc. And I want to just speak for a moment, uh, because I know that Sylvia talked to you a lot about um, the history of EBSCO and our history with publishers. And in fact, our publisher relationships are superior to any of the other vendors um, that you folks are, uh, you know, talking to. And it's, I think it's very important to carefully consider the content that you'll gain from these publishers. So when you look at, for example, news magazines, you will see that we provide ongoing full text for three major US news magazines. And that uh, two of these are unique to EBSCO. In other words, um, you will not be able to access this content from somebody like Gail or ProQuest. Popular culture and multicultural magazines um, similarly offer outstanding content. When you're looking at political magazines, um, you know, it's important that we provide a balance of viewpoints from across the full political spectrum. Um, and, and that's why we have chosen these titles to include with the school packages as opposed to um, some of our competitors that are not able to include any of these titles. So content you're not able to get um, in, in those political magazines. Science titles, again, very important full text, ongoing uh, titles that are important to your students and your teachers. And finally, um, some sports and leisure titles I wanted to mention. Some of the unique uh, additional titles in, are shown here. And the complete online package also offers a very strong collection of primary source documents, um, some of which are shown here. So inclusion of these current and historical uh, essential documents provide historical content and noteworthy events such as letters by Queen Elizabeth, Mark Twain, or Toni Morrison. In terms of news, there are more than 90 million articles from newspapers, news wires, and TV and radio news transcripts. Here's a look at some of the US newspapers, as well as some of the international newspapers included in full text. And here are some of those uh, television and radio news transcripts. Finally, there are two databases included in the complete online package which support teachers and administrators with the most important educational titles included in full text. So I will just pause here for a moment to ask Luciana if there are any questions in the chat. Not so far. Okay. Thank you. It's a quiet group this afternoon. So in addition to the complete online package of databases for schools, EBSCO also offers many subject specific databases um, 
which would offer additional um, reference content focusing on uh, biographies, US and world history, literature, poetry and short stories and science. I wanna mention Points of View Reference Center, which is a database that focuses on current events and controversial issues, um, which is a really powerful tool for teaching critical thinking and persuasive uh, writing skills. And um, another database mentioned here is Read It. It is a resource designed for middle and high school students as well as adults who have a basic foundational um, grasp of English grammar and reading, but need adapted reading material for a variety of subjects. So it offers resources to help build background knowledge or conduct research or improve study skills. So moving on to eBooks, uh, EBSCO offers more than a million titles and uh, several different acquisition models, including purchase for perpetual access, um, as well as subscribing. And I want to uh, focus on the subscription collections for just a few moments, um, because it's a very cost-effective way to easily offer a large volume of high-quality titles from the top publishers. So the subscription collections combine fiction and nonfiction titles across a broad range of subjects. The high school collection, for example, includes more than 12,200 eBooks, including classic and contemporary fiction, nonfiction, uh, literary criticism and graphic novels. Um, this is an affordable, uh, easy way to give students and educators access to a significant collection of popular eBooks with unlimited simultaneous access. So that means it supports class-wide reading or even school-wide assignments. So uh, Advanced Placement Source uh, covers a wide array of subject areas from arts and multicultural studies to the STEM subjects. It offers students essential research material to achieve academic success in honors, AP or IB programs. Um, this database is the only AP-focused multidisciplinary database on the market, and it contains more than 4,600 full-text academic journals and magazines dating back to 1985. And here's uh, a look at just a few of the titles. So before I move on to my last slides, I'll just pause again and see, uh, Luciana, if there are any questions in the chat. Yes, I have a question. Um, sorry. Um, Rocio would like to know if the, the package is um, for all the school. Um, she wants to know is if it's for the whole school ages, so elementary, middle school, and high school. And also, if you can um, give some example for mathematics, uh, she's asking, uh, would you share some sports? Share some, what was that last word? Sparses. Silvia, help me. <laughs> sources, so sorry. Sources. Uh, yeah, so, sorry. Yeah, so, uh, sources. Yeah. Sources. Yeah. Yeah. 
Sorry. Sylvia, I'm going to let Sylvia speak to the question about the um, grade levels um, appropriate. The, um, grade levels um, appropriate. Okay, so uh, yeah, the, the package is uh, for uh, uh, the entire school, uh, but we suggest to add uh, maybe also the primary online uh, um, source for the primary school and the middle online for the middle school, which are more appropriated for each level. Uh, so it's possible to add additional databases to the complete online package or create a customized package according to the needs of the school. And regarding mathematics, we could send to the participants or who is interested a title list just to see uh, how many journals are focused on these subject areas. And we suggest also the activation of a free trial because only testing and searching using the platform and searching by keyword or by subject, uh, you can evaluate how many results you can retrieve on a, a, every different subject area. And there is also an additional question uh, mm -hmm. coming from uh, uh, Maria Cecilia. Yeah. Yes, she would like can to I go know. On or Luciana, do you? Yes, uh, I can read for you. Uh, she would like to know uh, mm -hmm. if the package includes academic journals in addition to the magazine. It also includes some academic journals, but in case you need a database uh, mostly dedicated to the students of the last years of the high school, so who are uh, starting using content to prepare themselves to the next years at the college, we suggest academic search uh, complete uh, or uh, advanced placement source, uh, so other databases that could support uh, uh, last year students. Thank you. Uh, we have another question from Kate. Can you comment on the suitability mm -hmm. of this for IB diploma students? For example, for those researching their extended essay. Uh, well, to be honest, uh, I'm not able to give you a precise and accurate answer about this question. But uh, as I told before, we are always available to activate free trials because we think that you as librarians or teachers uh, are the best persons uh, able to evaluate uh, the content that you can retrieve through our databases. Um, advanced placement source uh, has been created and is updated to meet the needs of the IB um, programs. So it is uh, uh, a resource especially dedicated to, to these students. But of course, uh, trying it, uh, it is the best way to evaluate uh, uh, if the content uh, can meet your, your needs. Thank you. I think that's it for now. Uh, just a question about the uh, duration of the of the free trial. Uh, useful, um, usually, sorry, it is uh, uh, thirty days uh, of a free trial. Those are all really great questions, and um, one of the things that I wanted to mention before we move on is, um, you know, I uh, I think that, and we have you know, a, a big group on this call, we have 22 people on this call, I think a lot of your students are college bound. And so thinking about uh, what's going to prepare them for that research experience in college, one of, um, you know, one of the key things here is that many of the colleges and the universities that they're going to be attending are um, using EBSCO resources. So being able to get them familiar with and comfortable with the platforms, the content, um, and also uh, as the, the one question talked about, working with academic journals um, for, for research really puts them um, ahead as they're entering those first years of universities. 
And you can feel very confident uh, when you look at the number of universities all over the world that are, um, you know, that are using EBSCO products, which is to say more universities than are using non-EBSCO products, um, that you're sending your students off in the right direction. So finally, um, let's look at Flipster, EBSCO's uh, digital magazine platform. So digital magazines uh, allow you to offer popular content that you can select title by title for all ages and all interests. Some of the additional benefits of digital magazines include um, access to back issues. Um, you know, so when the current issue goes off your shelf in, in a print magazine, uh, it very uh, rarely gets picked up again. Um, and this gives the user instant uh, access to all of the back issues from uh, one simple access point. Uh, you can avoid torn and missing pages. Shelf space uh, savings has become a really important part of looking at digital magazines, as well as uh, tracking and reporting usage, which we don't see with print. Um, so there are some, some great advantages to digital magazines. And uh, Digital magazines allow you to, oops, sorry about that. Okay, I'm just unfamiliar with how my slides are moving here. Another thing to know is that titles can be accessed from any device. Um, and again, uh, we are seeing, and I'm sure you're seeing the same thing, more and more users accessing content from their smartphones, right? So this is a, a, another uh, easy access uh, point for Flipster. So we offer more than 1,200 magazine titles to the international schools in Spain, Italy, Portugal, Malta, and Israel. And this slide shows the top 15 titles that are subscribed to currently by international schools. And what I'd like to do now is um, I'd like to uh, take just a moment because I'm aware of our time to um, actually look at Flipster Live. So let me just stop sharing for a moment. I'm not actually sure I'm going to be able to do this. Okay. Thanks for bearing with me. Luciana, let me know if you cannot see my screen. I can see it. Great. So 
what you're looking at here is uh, Flipster, of course, on a, a desktop. And you see a, a scrolling bar here with latest issues. And underneath that, um, all magazine titles that, um, of course, this would not show everything. Uh, it would show only the titles that you subscribe to. And I want to just take one moment to look through um, uh, an issue. Let's let's take a look at. Um, let's see. I think what I'd like to do is let's let's take a look at National Geographic. to get a sense of what this feels like. So you see this beautiful uh, graphic and this ability to flip through, which is um, hence the name Flipster. And uh, you get the ability to just uh, really experience the magazine title the way it appears in print. There are some really nice features. Um, as I mentioned, you have access to all issues. So if you subscribe, for example, to National Geographic, you will get back issues uh, in, in the case of this title all the way back to 2017. And you can get to any of those issues right from the main page. You can also uh, navigate a bunch of different ways. This allows you to look through all the pages of the issue at once. So that is just a very quick look at uh, um, Flipster. And um, I will simply ask if there are any questions as I'm finishing up here. There aren't uh, any new questions uh, for now. So if you want for now, so if you we can move to Megan uh, presentation. Thanks, I will turn it right over to Megan. Thanks everybody. Uh, before I start, there's a quick introduction. I'm Megan Allen. Um, my team actually product manages and owns um, all of the products that Data just showed you um, from Flipster through to the databases. And we've also been running and owning um, the Explorer interface for um, this audience. So that's the demo I'm gonna give to you now. We have a brand new Explorer interface that we've been working on for the last several months um, that is already available. Um, so um, we'll be rolling it out to everyone in July. So one second. So Explora is EBSCO's interface for our school and public library audience. Based on extensive user research and customer feedback, EBSCO recently redesigned the Explorer interface to offer users a more modern and efficient search experience across all devices. The new design will make it easier for students, educators, and patrons to quickly find the credible information they need in order to complete homework and research projects, um, deliver robust school curriculum, achieve their professional goals, and just generally satisfy their intellectual curiosity. The redesign will launch this July, but it can be made available for interested new customers today. I'll start by showing you some features that make up the new Explorer. So first we have the standard EBSCO search box. It's simplified for the homepage, but it does support advanced search queries. So for example, this is a subject search for Dolly.
you'll see that it automatically includes the correct characters and diacritic marks, and it reveals the full search and quick filtering options when you get to the results page. Some personalization is also available. If users are interested in creating an individual account where they can more easily save and organize their research, this will help enable some of the project dashboard options here on the left. What's also important here is preferences. This is where you can update your language of choice for the main interface. For example, swapping to German and back to English. And we'll be adding more language options here over the next year or so. Back on the homepage, one of the defining features of Explore is the featured content. At EBSCO, we have a team of librarians and writers who maintain our collection of topic overviews. These short introductory articles are like encyclopedia entries. They cover tens of thousands of topics and are incredibly valuable to users for starting their research. The length and depth of each article is also tailored to the appropriate reading level for the audience. Our Explorer product management team hand curates the list of topics to be featured here on our homepage and updates them throughout the year. Depending on which version of Explorer you're using, these selections could be seasonal or news driven or based on popular curriculum for a subject area. Right now, the topics cycle through the list you see here and when the page is refreshed. But we are changing it to update when you select one of these topics from the list as well. Then, in the Explore Topics section, we've categorized the full collection of topic overview articles so students can easily browse the topic areas for their research. When a user clicks a topic category, they're taken to a topic page with a list of overviews available in that area. Right now, this is a simplified A to Z listing. For example, these are the Ds. With a tile view, and a list view. But we are building out this feature at the moment and we're adding more and better category navigation by the end of the year. The goal of the Explorer homepage is to help those users who are not experienced researchers are ready to dive into a search. It's designed to help those students pick and explore topics when they're not really sure where to begin and they can find that blank search box just intimidating. Once a student's chosen a topic or executed a search, the Explorer search results page has the same standard features and functionality as any other EBSCO research interface. If there's a topic overview article, it's featured predominantly at the top of the results list. The search filters and advanced search options are available. Full text articles can be viewed immediately. And there are more details on the book or article, often including the lexile range, just the reading level for the item. There are also an array of tools for citing in different formats, as well as saving and sharing articles. Most notably, our Google and OneDrive integrations. That's everything that I wanted to share with you on our new Explorer interface today, and I'm happy to field any more questions that we have time for. So I see one question in the chat. Does this link through to one all of the EBSCO articles? Through to all of or is it separate content? Um, so when you, you can set up, we, we group content by profiles um, at EBSCO. So any 
database that you purchase, you can configure into profiles for any one of our um, interfaces as it works for you. So if, for instance, um, this demo today was of the complete online package, so all of the articles, um, all the content included in that package is linked here on the Explorer interface. Um, you can do the same thing with one of our um, standard EBSCO host interfaces as well. Anything else? Thank you, Megan. Okay. Explorer and EBSCO host are two EBSCO platforms and uh, it's up to you to decide if you want to search the content of the subscribed databases or Flipster magazines or ebooks, uh, if you want to access to those content through Explorer or uh, through EBSCO host platform. Or you can use both uh, according, for example, to the level of the students for primary, middle, and the first years of the high school, you can uh, use Explorer. And for the last years of the high school, preparing students for colleges and universities, uh, you can provide them with EBSCO host platform. Both platforms are free of charge and they are used to access the content you purchase or you subscribe to. Any other question about um, the interface or the content? Uh, Okay, so I think yeah. that we can close this session. Luciana, yes. are you there? Yes, I am. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Thank you so much mm -hmm. to thank all of you for, you for your questions and for taking the time out of your day to attend our webinar. I hope uh, you found the session informative and engaging. And also a big uh, thanks to all presenters. We hope to see you all on next sessions. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of the day, everyone.